What it do? What it do? What it do? Back it up. 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 Pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Alright, I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. She's back. She's regular. Um, what's up? Uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, guys. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Zayana. I totally forgot to do my name in my last video about, um, if you watched my last video, it was things you should know before you get locks. So, I hope you guys like that video. I'll put it right here. Um, if you want to watch the things you should know before getting locks. However, this video is a little different. Um, do you guys like this hat? I just kind of like threw it on. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Hold on. Let's see. What, what do you guys think? Keep the hat or no? Let me know down in the comments below what you think about the hat. Anyways. I feel like I'm so off topic. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know I have the tension span of a bird. So, we gonna just jump right into the video. This video is, um, I'm probably gonna title it something different, but judging by the title, you know what it's about. This is how to stay motivated when you have locks. Like, how to stay motivated with your locks. How do you, you know, stay content with keeping your locks and, and keep and staying on your lock journey and going through with it because a lot of people they get locks and they're like after a while it's like uh this is not what i thought it was gonna be this is kind of like i'm looking janky this stage it's been six months and i'm just not feeling it it's been a year and i just don't see no progression listen young grasshopper i understand but this video is for motivational purposes only okay so if you've stumbled on this video if you're doing some research on how to stay and you came across this video just know that i am here to help you and to be your medulla oblongata and your lock journey and so you can continue on your journey it's called a lock journey for a reason so usually you guys know i have my handy dandy notebooks plural because I always have a few different notebooks but today I'm just kind of gonna just like free ball it off of my head and just like give you some like real tea and some real advice on what I personally feel like you know like you know like how I'm really feeling so some knowledge to drop to you but first I'm gonna get some chips because I'm kind of hungry so one second I got my chips um <laughs> now nah, but I'm just gonna tell you guys like okay for the people that don't like people eating and talking sorry but we're gonna just go on with the video how to stay motivated when you have locks how to stay motivated to keep your locks when you have locks well first things first I would say get some like inspirational pictures have a goal of what you kind of want your locks to look like just so when you kind of get like down and out you're like I'm gonna look like that one day my hair gonna be flourishing like that one day I'm gonna be cute like that one day even though you cute now period, you cute you beautiful like I just want okay even though you cute now you're beautiful you spicy, you exotic, you all of that. And this is for my men, my women, my chalets, my kids, my babies, my everybody that's watching this video. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I understand hair is people, like, you know, a lot of people that have locks identify as their locks. Like, you know, they, that to them, your lock is you, your beauty, you're this, you're that. But at the end of the day, it is still here. You are still you without it. So don't get discouraged if right away it's not flourishing how you kind of envisioned it, you know? Within the first few months or the first year or even the first two years. 
because everybody's hair is different so like say for instance your mom or your cousin they got locks and they're like yeah both maybe starting our journey at the same time or kind of like around the same time and their hair is like growing crazy and your hair is like maybe not really growing and you know you don't really got the hang time that you want your time will come young grasshopper do not worry your time will come okay also yeah so i would say definitely get like an inspirational picture sorry i'm just munching and crunching i am hungry y'all i need to eat after this video um i would definitely say get an inspirational picture of someone whether it's like let's say lisa bonet Let's say me. <laughs> Just kidding. Not really. Literally anybody. Lauren Hill. Um, those people that have vlogs. Just like a, reg a regular person on Instagram that you come across. Like, go to Pinterest. Look up pictures of, you know, people that have vlogs that you like that has your hair texture. Don't have really thin hair and looking at inspirational pictures of people that have thick coarse like you know jumbo freeform locks you know you might not get that effect so i would say definitely you know look at inspirational pictures that are um of people that have the same hair type as you just so you know kind of like you can get ex more excited bring that excitement back of what you are going to look like in the future in the near future even if your locks are short you can still try cute short lock styles maybe if you don't know how to do it yourself research a good loctician don't just go to anybody baby okay don't just go anybody that's looking for a quick coin no research a good loctician and you know see talk to them tell them you know i'm just kind of getting discouraged i'm kind of not feeling it no more like i'm just getting discouraged i'm just i'm over this journey like this is just this, this is just not it for me and I'm pretty sure if they love their craft and they're a good lactician, they are gonna hook you up and they're gonna make you feel like beautiful, make you feel like this journey is worth it. Like, you know what, locks are beautiful. Locks are worth the wait. Locks is a journey and I appreciate this journey and I'm gonna stay on this journey. So, you know, you can do cute little styles. Um, my brother, he had locks for a little while and they were like, maybe like to hear, honey, when I tell you he did more styles than me, he had them for like six months. And he did about 20 damn styles. And I'm just like, child, like, I don't even know you could do all of that with locks that length. So it kind of really showed me that you don't have to have really long locks to do styles, honestly. So whether you're a boy, because it's my brother, he had locks. Um, whether you're a girl with short locks and you want to do cute updos, you can still achieve that. Um, uh, my sister's cousin on, like, her side, on her dad's side, um, she has shorter locks. And what she did, it was her birthday. She wanted a really cute updo, but like her locks weren't long enough. So like I said, get you a loctician that cares. Her loctician, you know, put her hair up in a cute, like, she like twisted it up in a cute style. But she added like a full, I, I believe it's pronounced faux, the faux locks, but like a bun, like a faux lock bun. So she did like the locks going up in a cute style like she had them like braided going up or like twisted going up in a style and i thought i swear to you it was the same color her hair is like blonde or something the faux locks was the same color it gave the same effect so you know it's okay to add a little faux lock if you're not satisfied with the look just so that you don't come off of your journey so soon it's, it's okay to play around with your hair get faux locks do this switch it up um, as you guys can see, I kind of got a little bored with my locks. I was like, kind of like, I'm over the locks. Like, this is how, all I've had my entire life is locks. So I was like, you know what, this summer, um, I was like, let me just kind of spice it up. I'm so mad that I did not document it for you guys. I'm very sorry, but I will insert a picture right here. Um, I did box braids over my locks. Ciao. Yes. Okay. Um, you guys can check out my Instagram at the Diana Francis if you guys want to see more photos of, you know, the, it was a boho, uh, box braids over my lot. So, I'm gonna do it again soon, and when I do, let me know in the comments down below if you would like 
for me to like document it show you know my my lady doing it and that was my first time ever 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 in my life getting my hair done by like an outsider and she's not even a politician that's the funny part um by an outsider I've been the only one to do my hair, my mom, like, you know, I've never had anyone else besides me and my mom do my hair. So it was like so different for me. So I was like kind of nervous. And so I don't even think, I think that's why I didn't document it, but I was just really nervous. So yeah, like if you want to switch it up, maybe put like box braids over your locks, just so you don't get discouraged, you know, do some research off people that can actually do that watch youtube videos child i was researching i watched about a hundred youtube videos of people putting box braids with weave over their um locks uh yes obviously guys i used weave that was my first time getting weave period she was cute and i had the little boho curls it was real cute um but yeah it was a little heavy but it was you know it was manageable but yes yeah, so i would definitely say if you're you know, wanting to switch it up, do not cut your hair. You can still, like, if your hair is shorter, I've never wore a wig, but, like, if I had loose hair, I might try one one day, you know what I'm saying? But I don't have it, so obviously I'm not. But if you have really short locks, or even if your locks are maybe, like, right here, I've actually seen a video on YouTube of this lady. She braided her, her locks down. The lady sewed it up, like, you know, in the little bun thing that they do in the back. And she put a whole frontal wig on, child, with the little baby edges and everything. I was like, oh my god. Like, if my hair wasn't so long, I would totally try that just to, like, switch it up on y'all. But my hair, I just, I mean, I never asked, but I just feel like my hair is just way too long to do that. To, like, like, all the way hide my locks. I feel like, I don't know if that's it. possible. But, like, I'm saying, for you guys that have maybe, like, shorter locks, good news you guys can still wear wigs you can still do whatever length your hair is that you can do the box braids you can do the faux locks over your locks just to give you that little spice of length you know so don't get discouraged guys i would definitely say stay on your journey like do not give up um i know i'm just like kind of chatting in this video but i kind of just wanted to have like a sit down because a lot of um i got a lot of comments saying like Dad, you know, I had locks. I just cut them six months ago. Or I just cut them. Oh, your locks are beautiful. Like, I wish I would have stayed on that journey. Or I wish... Or well, a lot of people come to me, like, in person. Who's texting me? A lot of people come up to me in person. Oh, my sister just made tacos. And she asked me, do I want a soft shell or a hard shell? Guys, what, the, what is your preference? Would you rather... Soft taco shells or hard taco shells. I don't know why I'm pronouncing all like that. Um, what is your preference? Because I don't know what to tell her. Because I like them both. I'm gonna do one of each. Do y'all do one of each? Let me know down in the comments down in the comments down below. What is your taco preference? I know this has nothing to do with locks, but look at God. I just said I was hungry. Cheer. <laughs> one up each no i'm crazy i know i'm crazy if this is your first time on this channel if you happen to stumble upon this channel pause the video and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to know more about locks if you want to know about how to maintain your locks and just a bunch of other videos i make i make fashion videos i make entrepreneur videos we are starting a new segment on here where we making these entrepreneur videos how to get to the bag so if you also want to know about your how to get to your locks and you want to know how to get to the bag make sure you subscribe because i have my own business it is um called indie because we independent out here, period. Um, so my Instagram is Shop Indie Brand and my website is shopindiebrand.com. We are dropping some fire, fire, fire in a few weeks. So make sure I, I wonder if it's gonna be dropped before I put this video out. Anyway, stay tuned because I know it's gonna sell out extremely fast because we are speaking it into existence. We are manifesting, okay? Okay. Um, I hope I gave you guys some inspiration in today's um, video. I'm just gonna like hold off on that. Um, I hope I really gave you guys some inspiration to like stay on your journey, stay focused, and in different ways that you may have not known that you could spice it up, you know? You can be that girl 
or that boy or that child and that's one per <laughs> okay but like guys as well like i hope guys i hope you are taking this into consideration as well you can put faux locks over your locks currently or you can maybe add like lock extensions i mean i've never done that but like i'm sure it's a thing you can add like lock extensions for the meantime actually no that is a thing you can add lock extensions to your locks and you know or if you want to go the natural way i get it but you know you guys can spice it up and yeah so i really hope i was helpful and i hope you guys enjoyed this video so so much because i enjoyed making it for you as always so um i hope you guys are subscribed if not please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel and also follow me on instagram at the diana francis and follow my business page at shop indie brand we just made a new business page for instagram because we had an old one we had to delete that one so we get our followers back up on this new page so please if you love me you will follow on my business page it's literally free to support a black owned business with just a simple follow, just a simple spread the word. If you like what I got, drop me some new stuff soon. So yeah, that's all. I, that's all I gotta say. Um, period. Virtual hugs, guys. Virtual hugs. I love you. Bye. <laughs>